My friend Karis made these bracelets for me. Isn't that so sweet? This makes me feel like it's summer. It also smells like the tanning bed. It really takes me back to the late 90s when I used to go to the tanning bed because everyone did. Okay. Let me put on a little music real quick. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I want to put on just a little bit of background music for you guys. And I usually just look for angelic healing music on YouTube. it down below. Some of my favorites. Can't go? Do Sorry. Okay. 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 We'll just have that play in the background. This is so relaxing for me. I hope it's relaxing for you. I hope that you're able to just relax and let your mind let go of things that you've been thinking about a lot lately. It's so important to cultivate calmness in your reality, even if it's only 10 minutes a day, you start wherever you need to. That's how I started. When I was 26, I worked at Whole Foods as a cashier outside Chicago in a suburb called Naperville and then in a suburb called Wheaton. Maybe you're familiar. And my husband and I were boyfriend and girlfriend at the time and we lived in a little apartment. And we would go into the city and we would ride the train and we would go to swim sometimes.
May we go out to eat? A lot. I had so many good memories. And then after I was a cashier for six weeks or so, I moved to the specialty department, which was the beer, wine, cheese, chocolate, coffee department. So all the yummy stuff, you know? The decadent like party stuff. And I learned a lot about all the fancy cheeses and all the fancy wines and olives, chocolate, um, the like soft French cheeses, the hard Italian cheeses. I learned a lot about cheese. And um, made some really special friends there I was on the specialty team for eight months and we had lots of parties and celebrated lots of holidays And then I went on to work as a sign maker, which back then was the person that made all the chalkboard signs and did all the handwriting around the store. And I did that job for two years in 2011 and 2012, and it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of a lot of stuff going on all the time, you know, again, like lots of holiday, everything was about the holidays, you know, and I had to work with all different kinds of people in the different departments and um, talk with them one-on-one -on -one about what they wanted to display, you know, and working with people when it comes to their visual um, like ideas and stuff is, is always very interesting and I, I learned so much from my experience about people and what they want and different ideas and ways to see things and um, Wow, that was fun to just chat with you about a memory. You'll have to let me know what you what you think. I'm just uh, I'm just shooting from the hip here, but you know, sometimes, well, oftentimes, it's just the easiest, most simplistic things that we do that bring us can bring us joy and satisfaction and reprieve from our mind, our day-to-day -day minds, our to-do list minds, our we gotta, we gotta be here, we gotta be there, we gotta worry about that, we gotta, 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 shoulda, shoulda, you know, it's too much, you gotta check out, you know what I mean, and, and by checking out, I mean, uh, there's lots of different ways to check out, obviously. Some healthy, some not so healthy. Some very unhealthy. And working with crayons, the reason I'm doing this series is because, again, it's where I started, and it's not intimidating, I don't think. You know, the, the medium, and anyone can go pick up crayons, and 
a candle, even from the dollar store, I'm sure. And, um... Play some music on YouTube and have this serene experience, even though you're not, quote unquote, you know, making anything. You're just doodling. So these are my doodles. They're free to exist just as they are. They don't have to mean anything or be anything or, or go anywhere. They can just exist. So you'll have to leave a comment below about your thoughts and thank you for making it this far it means so much to me i i am a busy mom and i do what i can when i can and this is one of the tools that i started with which again doodling candle non-lyrical music piano whatever just no words and you can zone out, which I know I've been talking this whole time, but you know, doing it by yourself or you can call a friend, to be honest. Doodling on the phone while talking is a whole thing you should try. It is amazing. You know, call your mom, call your dad, call anyone, anyone that you haven't talked to on the phone in a while that you just wanna chat with. Just call them, or you can text them before you call them, but there is some um, magic in chatting and spending time together that way. So, all right, I gotta go, but thank you so much for joining me today. Please let me know your thoughts and everything in the comments, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you.